I believe I have this very clear now and I want to explain to you that it is very important for us to identify what is the gamma of the game, okay? The games are going to either be gamma 2.2 or sRGB and this is relevant for auto HDR on Windows 11, SDR, HDR trick and the latest major paint the cactus mod that we've been using with Lilium's inverse tone mapping, okay? So now how can you identify the gamma of the source, the gamma of the game, two ways. One way is use this ICC profile I share with you, link in the description of the video, and you can just switch back and forth between the HDR calibration app profile and the ICC profile that I share with you to fix most of the SDR content on Windows when we are on HDR, okay? So you got this a change you can do on the fly, boom, and you can see it changes, okay? So look at near black detail. With the ICC profile I share with you, if you are crushing details, and I'm talking about obvious crushing, okay? It is going to be very obvious. It's not gonna be something that you're gonna have a hard time telling. It is going to be evident that you're crushing details if the source gamma, if the game gamma is sRGB. So if you're crushing details with the ICC profile, that means that the game gamma is sRGB. So now, in terms of the settings for the TV and for the SDR, HDR trick, what does that mean? Well, what that means is that if the game supports auto HDR, then you're going to default to the HDR calibration app profile to use auto HDR. And if the game doesn't support auto HDR, well, it doesn't matter because you can, well, it does matter, but you could open the game on SDR, even if it doesn't support auto HDR. You could just have the HDR calibration app profile and then come here and max out this brightness slider to get more brightness. And the game is going to look good. Near black is not going to look washed out. You're going to have perfect blacks and the contrast of the image is going to be flawless. No problem. I'm talking about no need to lower the black level on your TV. No need for fine-tuned dark areas, screen brightness. None of that. The game is going to look perfect. And this is something that I didn't have clear before. It's something that I understand now after more testing. Okay. Now, this is one way to identify... The other way to identify this is by using this Lilium's inverse tone mapping. So with this Lilium's inverse tone mapping, let me make this uh, bigger so you can see it. With this, you have the option to change from gamma 2.2 to sRGB. So you come here to this uh, Lilium's inverse tone mapping, link in the description of the video to a guide where I show you how to install reshade and how to get this Lilium's inverse tone mapping. It's Lilium shaders in general working on your games. So now you come here down to this option that says Content TRC, okay? And I am using the Major Paint the Cactus mod. Link in the description of the video. This is a way to get HDR10 on games that don't support HDR at all. They don't even support auto HDR from Windows 11. We can get HDR10 working. This looks absolutely amazing okay and it works for most of the unreal engine games like flawlessly so you come here to this lilium's inverse tone mapping you have this content trc option where you can switch from srgb to gamma 2.2 okay so you look at the darkness again i would need to change my camera settings to show you near black detail and you wouldn't even see my face okay so what you have to do is go to the darkness on the game or just look at, at dark uh, areas like this. You change from gamma 2.2, you, you will see that you're crushing details. It's like obvious. I don't even need to go to the darkness. I'm looking at this spot right here and the leaves are not visible. Of course, on the recording it looks crushed because of my camera settings. In order for me to show you that near black detail, everything else is going to look blown out. Okay, So trust me when I tell you that 2.2 here, it's just crushing that near black detail. When I change it to sRGB, boom, it looks perfect. So this game is sRGB. To use the major paint the cactus mod, which is what I'm using right now, you can see it here. 
Auto HDR 64 add-on. This is the major Paint the Cactus mod. Amazing. Link in the description of the video. I'm enabling this HDR 10 for this Unreal Engine game that doesn't support HDR or Auto HDR from Windows 11. This is clearly sRGB. Okay. So what this means is that we could you just use this mod, the HDR 10, this way, or this game, we could just open it on SDR. So I could just turn off that mod, basically, come here, close the game, open it again, and use this slider to get more brightness. So now the reason why this slider right now has no effect on the game is because the game is using HDR10. It is not on SDR. But if I reset the game, then this brightness would matter. And what this brightness slider is doing is pushing almost 500 nits. Okay, so if you have an LG OLED, you can push more brightness with that 500 nit because we have the option to do tone mapping with this LG OLED. So one, 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 three, one, one, one. You can come down here to where it says Master in Pick Max LL. You lower this to 540, and you can use dynamic tone mapping, which is a lot super bright, or tone mapping off. So tone mapping off would be my recommendation. So this would be the SDR trick. Okay. This would be the new SDR, SDR, HDR trick. Okay, so no need anymore to do this and lower the, the screen brightness or fine tune dark areas. That's not necessary. Okay. This is better now. So we would use dynamic tone mapping for OLED Motion Pro and this is bright enough. We don't, we don't even need to do any near black tweakings on the 22 point calibration. This is bright enough. Dynamic tone mapping on for OLED Motion Pro on this LG OLED, which is what I'm using right now, or tone mapping off for no black from insertion. Okay, and it doesn't matter which LG OLED you have, if you do this, you're going to get the maximum brightness of your display. So if you have a G3, you're going to get as bright of a TV as you can get because the TV is doing tone mapping with that target. Okay. So when, what that means is when the max CLL of the content is like 500 nits, which is all the time, <laughs> then you get the maximum peak brightness of your TV, which is awesome. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Very, very important for you to identify each game. What is the gamma of the game? Two options, 2.2 or sRGB. I gave you two ways to determine that. And all you have to do is just pay attention to the game. Pay attention. So go to, for example, uh, this is Sword and Fairy. Okay. There's always someone asking me, which game is that you're playing? <laughs> this is Sword and Fairy. This game is nice. A lot of popping. Tremendous, horrendous popping. But it's a nice game. So what all you have to do is go to the darkness. Okay. So you come to a spot like this. Where you see near black detail. And all you have to do is just switch back and forth from sRGB here to 2.2. If you are using this method, you're crushing. I mean, it's, it's like obvious, like everyone is going to notice that difference. It's just too, too clear, too clear. <laughs> no, no doubt about it. And what's going to happen if I open the game. So if I don't use this mod and I open the game on SDR, it's going to look exactly the same. Okay, so right now I'm talking about no black level setting on my TV, nothing. I'm just open the game on SDR, auto HDR off, no major pain the cactus. The game is going to look exactly the same near black. Okay, the difference is going to be that I, n I wouldn't have this Max LL, which I have right now. I have it set up for 1000 nits because I, I was using dynamic tone mapping for all in motion pro high and I was using here this master in peak max CLL 1000. So basically that would be the difference. The main difference between opening the game on SDR and using this major paint the cactus mod. Okay. This major paint the cactus mod has the potential to look better. And I think it does, uh, but it, it, they are about the same, especially near black. Okay. So for all the motion pro high, it works amazing. So now I'm recording this video at 30 FPS because I am using this OLED Motion Pro High at 100 FPS, 100 Hertz, and it flickers. <laughs> so if I record at 60 
uh, FPS, it flickers a lot because of the shutter speed. So for me to change the shutter speed to 50, uh, for it to not flicker, 50 or 100, then I have to, oh, I have like a, <laughs> like a dialogue going on here. I have to record at 30 FPS. That's why this video is at 30 FPS. Because I'm using this Ola Motion Pro High at 100 Hz, which works very, very well. It works absolutely amazing. And that's what I'm using right now. So let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you have any questions, trust me, after you test this with multiple games, you will, you will see that most of the games are Gamma 2.2. And when the games are Gamma 2.2, what you have to do, come here and use the ICC profile that I share with you. That's very simple. All you have to do is come here to your display settings and change this color profile to this S S sRGB uh, D50 that I share with you. Okay? That's all you have to do for most games. Use that. Because that's what, that's what most games are Gamma 2.2. And when you use that, Auto HDR on Windows 11 is going to look perfect. It's going to look absolutely amazing. And SDR too. So you don't, even if the game doesn't support Auto HDR, it doesn't matter. You can open it. And if you have top mapping options, I mean, basically, if you have an LG TV, you can push the brightness. Otherwise, if you have a different display, um, let's say you have a you know, QD OLED that has a 400 nits mode or something like that, like the Alienware QD OLED has a 400 nits um, option, then you would just use this SDR, HDR slider and 400, which is like 75%, if I remember correctly, of the slider, 75 to 80%. Of this, I think 80% goes over 8, 400 nits. But that would be that would be one thing you can do. But in that case, it is, it is better to test this Major Pain the Cactus mod. And with the Major Pain the Cactus mod, you use the Lilium's inverse tone mapping. And you're gonna use uh, Gamma 2.2 if it's 2.2, sRGB if it's sRGB. That's it. So I think I made this clear. I have it clear right now, and I've tested this in multiple games already and it just it works like a charm okay and i'm always trying to figure out a way to get more brightness and more brightness for all emotion pro high and i have realized that dynamic tone mapping is going to try to push as much brightness as possible and the only difference is near black if you're crushing or not so if you're crushing you're gonna feel like the brightness is lower and if you're not crushing you're gonna feel like everything is okay Okay, so now because I understand this better, I, I no longer feel like I need more brightness. I don't need more brightness, this is bright enough. Of course, I would like it to be brighter, but you get what I'm saying? I don't feel like I cannot see. I, always, I can always see near black because I am using the correct gamma, okay? Is visible near black because the gamma is correct. I identified, okay, this game is sRGB, let me not use 2.2 here. If I use 2.2, I would be crushing details. If I open the game on SDR and I use the SDR HDR trick that I recommended before, I would crush details, okay? And I didn't know that. Remember, I'm always sharing the best of my knowledge and abilities at this very right moment, okay? I would, if I use the settings I recommended before here and lower the screen brightness, I would be crushing near black details. Okay, so that's the way to go. Let me know your thoughts and opinions, and if you have any questions.